Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I know your face is probably really puckered up right now, and you're about ready to say, 16 days no video impossible, or one of the alternatives, you know, like, shame for display, or ninja you just went full shazbot, or one of those alternatives of you getting mad at me, and I do apologize, but I'm gonna make up for it by live streaming this evening, and odds are, if you're watching this video right now, Voxy already started live streaming, so there'll be a link in the description, and one note is that I'm going to be live streaming Bad Company 2 instead of Battlefield 3, probably because I have a lot more friends that will play Bad Company 2 with me, and that makes the entire experience more entertaining, if you ask me, and... I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, okay? It's like, bro, bro, okay, 16 days, nothing from you, and then one day, all the badgers that I could ever want, <laughs> that don't make no sense, that's like a double dose, dog. and I know that might be good for some of you and not others that have to work on a Friday night, but beyond that, that's about it, okay? Live streaming is probably starting right now, if, well, it's Friday, if it's not Friday, it's probably not happening right now, but this helicopter really had no use to me, I said, you know what? I don't even need your helicopter because I don't have a gunner and without a gunner you're not good against infantry and when you're not good against infantry why do you even have a helicopter? And I slept in here like a klepto thief and I slipped in here. I did not sl I did not sleep in here. Just to just to be clear, I didn't sleep in this little I don't even know what this is, but I don't get it. Like good morning, Carl, but I don't get it. Like I bro, I don't get it, okay? I'll explain in a second, but look. Come here to you. Come here to you. I'm waiting on you, dog. Come come on. Come here, baby cakes. There you go. Finally, he's here. He was a little late, but finally he's here. One Glock, two Glock, three Glock, four completes the triple kill. And there's one more guy around here. I don't know where this Carl is, but he wants his French fried potatoes. And <laughs> give me a chicken sandwich and a waffle fries for free. There we go. And that's it's it's really simple. Like it's very very simple to to just sit in a corner, and I, this is what I don't understand, okay, I just previously mentioned that, I don't understand how I can come up with these really creative lurk spots, like, bro, they're never gonna find me right here, this is so creative, this is so, ing it's like ingenious where this spot is, they're not gonna find me, and then I get shot in the face, or I get my sandwich taken, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but then at the same time, I'll choose the most stereotypical locations in the world, and then I'll somehow get triple kills like that, like, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get how obvious locations get me lots of kills and keep me alive, but really clever locations don't get me anything. It just... It don't make no sense, bruh. It don't make no sense. And... I don't want to say this blatantly, but I think I will eventually have to anyways. I think that the M4... Excuse me, the M4A1, I know a lot of you might flip out on me. The M4 is the burst version, and I know you're probably gonna... You're probably those same people that think that... I'm such a bad person because I call it a submachine gun instead of a carbine and carbine carbine I don't know if that really boils your grits I that's not even a saying like that there's so many southern sayings having to do with grits and Paula Dean and I have diabetes and I didn't hit any of those sayings I don't know how I can't grasp any of those right now but I still think the F4A1 is probably the best why I just think fastest time to kill of all the submachine guns slash carbines of the engineer class tied with the a91 i think the a91's close but that reload time of the m4a1 is so dandy it, I, I think it just puts it over the top because i reload so frequently i'm like a reloader anonymous like i just reload so frequently it is not even funny i it's like a first person shooter habit of mine to reload frequently because you never know because there might be four guys around the corner and you might miss out on that triple spray or that quad spray just because you didn't reload before and that's what i always think and i was going to say all right uh, cheeky, cheeky, Carl, but you're not gonna trick me. It's like, what am I, 12? Carl, Carl, you think I'm 12? You think I'm gonna miss your AA? I almost said a AA mines, and AA mines should not exist because I really don't think that mines are good for any aircraft. I don't, unless he's flying extremely low. I think those are very, uh, very, very bad investment, if you ask me. And I was going to say, I was actually gonna say exactly how to use this tank, but you can obviously see from this gameplay right here, I have no idea how to use a tank. Especially on Karg Island, I basically turn it into a missile magnet and nice double kill. That was very much definitely not lucky or completely lucky, however, however you want to see it. But I always think that I'm very, very good with vehicles, but I'm really not. And another thing that I want to, want to mention about this gameplay, as I get shot in the corner, this guy lurking around with his shotgun, he was very crafty. I have to give him that. This guy was very, very crafty. And 
It's annoying when I run out of ammo for my primary. I ran out of ammo for my M4 and I thought, uh... It's really annoying. It's almost like the spawn's annoying. And yes, that is an actual spawn. That, that That's a spawn on Conquest on... Nobody knows how to pronounce it, okay? Is, is, it, is it Zen Crossing or Z... I feel like I've taken enough years of German to be able to pronounce this, but I believe that city's French anyway, so... I'm not even sure, but that Conquest Zen Crossing is, is very, very bad in terms of spawns. And another thing that I want to mention about this gameplay is that it is one where I was getting cheesed, bro. Okay, like, and it's not even like I get cheesed in one mode over the other. I get cheesed in Conquest. I get cheesed in Rush. I get cheesed in 64-player Caspian. I get cheesed everywhere. And I wanted to upload a video where... I struggled. Not necessarily just struggled personally, but my entire team was very bad. And I wanted to... Nice, nice, nice operation or mission trying to climb up that ladder, Carl, but it is not going to work. I really hate to spoil your day, baby cakes, but it's not going to work. And I like this gameplay to contrast what my previous gameplay was with the FAMAS. I know the FAMAS gameplay last, like, two weeks ago was like... Badger, could you find any worse players? Like, did those players even have some sort of cognitive function? Because they were horrible. Like, I've never seen anybody that bad. And I know that kind of gameplay can get sort of boring after a while. So I said, why not upload a game where I am struggling and I'm getting cheesed and I'm trying to win this game? And it's just convenient, okay? I have to say that when you're really struggling with a team like I am right now, just Carl teammates, it is convenient to have a helicopter, okay? Not even so much to destroy them, it's just that sort of convenience. It's almost like that convenience. Like, let's say you're assaulting an objective with a FAMAS and a Glock, okay? And you kill one guy, you kill a second guy, and... Oh my god. Give me your sandwich! And, like, it's almost like, okay, Here's you have five health. bullets left. Nine. And you just happen to kill this catfish with all five bullets that... That's, that is the definition of convenience for me right there. You have five bullets left in your magazine, all five hit the guy and you kill the guy. That is the definition of convenience. It's just convenient like the helicopter in Cargo Island because really, tanks are risky because everybody plays engineer and you're just like a, a sponge. You're just a sponge for smalls, a sponge for RPGs when you're in a tank. But I really think that unless your gunner is top notch and you really know how to pop flares one after the other, most of the time, and yes, that's a very, very, very lucky double kill. I really get double kills and kills at all being the main pilot of... Being the main pilot of a helicopter because those those rockets are... It's like, are you shooting little Tootsie Rolls at me? I don't even know what you're shooting at me. So I said, I don't even need that helicopter. I'd rather arm the objective and attempt to win the game despite the fact that my team is horrible. It's like... I don't know. I, you're going to see in the outro clip, it's... It's almost like my teammates were the type of teammates that get run over by the skid loader. That's that's how I would describe my teammates. And, like, you have to know, you have to be, and I get this gentleman here, but you have to know that you have to be pretty bad to get roadkill with the skid loader. Because that thing is like two and a half cylinders of raw power with a max of like... Like five miles per hour max. And yes, this cheeky monkey, this... This guy was quite the catfish, but I have to hand him to him. I have to hand it to him, he was very, very crafty with that shotgun. I know it's very... I would have to say it's fairly difficult to do well with a shotgun on Karg Island, with the exception, with the exception of the USAS frag rounds. And I know last video I mentioned how OP or potentially, not game-breaking, but definitely better than the others, the FAMAS was, and it's safe to say on the majority of the maps in Bad Company, and I'm sorry, Friendly Fire, I'm really... That's one where I just said, my bad, bro. <laughs> I know all of them are just looking at me right now and just saying, Ninja, you just went full Shazba. And you're getting really mad at me, but I do apologize. And I wanted to say that, yes, the FAMAS might, might be better than the other assault rifles, but for the majority of the infantry maps, or the infantry-based maps, which is a lot of the maps in, in Battlefield 3 here, the use as frag rounds is, is hard to beat if you know how to use it correctly. And even knowing how to use it correctly is not a necessary feature because it's so easy to use. And... This was another frustrating part about this game. Number one, my teammates were only arming. Like, you've already seen that I've already armed, what, two of the four objectives? Like, half the objectives I've already destroyed myself. And that keeps happening, and this is like a constant trend throughout the gameplay. But one thing I want to mention is that an Amtrak is so valuable. I don't think people really realize the value of an Amtrak. 
Number one, it is Big Burfa, okay? It is a Big Burfa tank. And there I go again, dying a second time. And that's mainly because my teammates really didn't... Okay, well, okay. I, I don't want to blame that on my teammates because that's not really... That's not really appropriate on my part because I, I really think, okay, how can I blame my teammates if the entire enemy team is just engineers running around like... That's too many RPGs to expect teammates to repair your Amtrak that much. But I just wanted to emphasize, an Amtrak is so valuable. It is incredibly valuable. Not only because, like I said, it is a big barf of tank. Okay, the tanks in this game are, they're tanky. They're like Cho'Gath tanky. But, well, Cho'Gath was six stacks tanky. They're not quite Mordekaiser's numero uno, <laughs> Mordekaiser's numero uno, hue, 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 but... They're tanky enough that they can take quite a few rockets, but the Amtrak is a whole other level. Like, that can take a serious amount of rockets before it goes down. And it's tankier than the others, and it's more so... Yes, people appreciate it for, for its value of killing. Like, it can definitely get kills with the Amtrak, but I look at it... I look at it more as, I'm just gonna punch with this big sheet of metal towards the objective, jump out, arm it, and jump back in. That's the way that I pictured the Amtrak, and I'm... When I can't get that forward, and when, when your team can't get that forward, it makes everything a lot more difficult. I have to say that. Everything gets more difficult, and I didn't really blame myself on this one, okay? I didn't blame myself. I said, you know what? I'm the only one on my team even remotely close to this objective while I'm, like, lone wolfing it, and since the rest of my team is practically Team Carl, I can't get mad at myself for dying when there's that many enemies and that kind of proximity to the objective, but still, you can look at the map right now. How many how many teammates do I have even close to the objective? And flanking right, flanking left works some of the time, but also too, you have to realize that when you're not taking vehicles, you are chewing through your time and your tickets. So yes, you can flank. Yes, it can be successful. You guys know that I am quite the catfish when it comes to flanking. Like, I really enjoy flanking, but if you're going to take a wide flank to avoid dying, that takes a lot of time, and if you don't like, if you die halfway there, that's kind of unsuccessful. You wasted a lot of tickets, and you didn't get the objective. So just think about the, the time that flanking eats up, and I really wasn't sad about this engagement either, because if I go up the stairs with, like, less than 25 health, it's, like, one shot, and I'm dead. So I wasn't all that sad about it. But yet again, this is frustrating. Like, I'm yet again getting cheesed. And yes, I'm glad to bring this to you, though. I'm glad to bring you something different. And yes, conveniently, the Amtrak... I have all this amp I have all this I have all this talk about how valuable the Amtrak is and somebody got it stuck in a rock. That is wonderful, Carl. That is wonderful. And so yes, I decided to flank. And I knew this was gonna be my only choice because obviously I have no vehicle and I know I know the left side is it's not as occupied as much as the right, because they just camp the right side because it's really close to where they spawn. And I knew, I knew that I could get A, but I was doubtful on B. And obviously Basically, the only way to do it now was to get A and then get B, get B consecutively, and that's very... It's doubtful. In my mind, it's very doubtful. I, I don't have... I, I'm thinking about this statistically, and I, I don't really have any statistics to go for it, but I think about it, and the odds that you're going to get both objectives without getting shot doing it by yourself are very, very low. Like, you can even see... If you can look around, like, right now, you can see that... I have very few teammates even in close proximity to me. I think I have a few over near B, but at the very least, I have no more than... Like, actually, there's not a single teammate even close to me. Just blatantly. There's not a single teammate that's even close to me. I try to get A, but that is so annoying. Like, you... Okay, you guys saw a few seconds ago, right? I jumped about four feet, and I broke half my health. I don't know if that made me lose that engagement right there. Perhaps I would have lost it anyways, even if I was full health, but... I can't get the second objective armed, and we lose the game. So, I know this is a bit of a transition from what I usually do. I know it, it's usually just, I'm just stomping Carl's out of existence. Like, the opposing team is so bad. So, I thought I'd transition that into the other team being a bunch of catfish, me having to struggle and getting cheesed all game. So, I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And yet again, I'm probably live streaming right now if it's still Friday. So, I recommend you check out the live stream if you have not already. And for the bonus clip, it's basically, like I said, it's going to... The gentleman that I run over is going to be a representation of every single teammate that I had during this game. In that, every single teammate that I had during this game is the type of teammate that would get run over by a skid loader that goes maybe 5 miles per hour max. It's really difficult and you have to have a complete lack of awareness to be able to be ran over by one of those things. But regardless, I hope you enjoy the bonus clip. 
I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later. And Ninja, you just went full shazbot. BGS, I am the greatest.